Today we're talking about 10 hacks for taking better photos of your pets. Thanks Mia. I'll take it from here. Roll that intro. Welcome back ladies and gents. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Daniel and today I'm here with my two little helpers, Tank and Mia. Now I'm sure most, if not all of you, have some adorable pets at home and who doesn't want to show off their adorable pets? So today we're going to take your pet pics from this to this with 10 cheap, easy, or even free hacks that you can do right away. All right, tip number one is to use treats. Now this, <coughs> now this might seem like common sense or it might seem pretty straightforward, but let's be honest. Cats and dogs have zero attention span, and last time I checked, they don't speak English, so anything you're saying to them, they're probably not gonna listen to. Use the treats to your advantage. Use it to get their attention and keep their attention. You'll be happy with the pictures, they'll be happy because they're getting a constant supply of treats. Tip number two, try taking the pictures on an ottoman or a stool. The reason this is good is because it limits the amount of space your pet has to move around so they'll stay still for you. And secondly, if they want to decide to lie down or have a nap facing the opposite direction of the camera, you can just move the ottoman or the stool and face them without having to wake them up or agitate them and get them all riled up again. Tip number three, use window lighting. If you don't want to buy any lights right off the bat, have your shoot near a window. It'll create some depth on your pet and make your photos a lot more interesting than any other place in the house. Tip number four, use a big soft light. If you do want to get more advanced, you can pick up a soft box for super cheap. I'll link one below. All you gotta do is keep the light nice and close so that it makes a big soft light. And for a situation like this, you wanna have a constant light, something that's always on as opposed to a flash. A flash over time is gonna to start to hurt your pet's eyes and that'll be reflected in the pictures. They'll look more tired and worn out. Tip number five, use a ring light. A ring light is something you could pick up also for really cheap. And I mean, keep in mind you don't have to use these lights only for taking pictures of dogs. But ring lights are really cool because you can shoot through the light and it creates a wicked reflection in your pet's eyes, like a nice ring. Which brings us to our next tip. Tip number six, focus on the eyes. There's a reason they call them puppy dog eyes. Focus on your pet's eyes. It's the most dramatic, it'll draw your viewers in, and unless you're trying to photograph some sort of action in the scene, there's really no point in photographing the whole body. Get in nice and tight on the eyes and it'll create some drama. Tip number seven, use your phone flashlight. If you don't wanna buy lights right away, try using your phone's flash to create some dramatic lighting. All you gotta do is hang it over your pet's head, moving it back and forth to see what looks good. Tip number eight, use props. Try using things like fairy lights or prisms. They're both super cheap. At like 25 bucks for both, why not use them? They're a great little prop that you can add in and add a little bit more flair to your pet photos. Tip number nine, change your perspective up. We're so used to seeing our pets from the same point of view, Change up the perspective. Get nice and low, get nice and close. People are naturally drawn to photos that feature something that they're not used to seeing. So get nice and close and change up that perspective. And tip number 10, get creative. Try new and exciting, unique shots. This one's one of my favorites. Get a piece of clean plexiglass and put a little bit of honey on it. Then have your pet lick the honey as you snap away from the other side of the glass. Just be sure to watch out for the light and any reflections you might be catching. There you have it, ladies and gents. That's 10 quick ways to take some beauty, professional shots of your pets. I'll link all the stuff that I use down below. Who knows, once people see these pictures of your pets, they might wanna hire you to do pictures of theirs, so you might make a quick buck. And that's it. Make sure you guys tag me in your pet pictures. I legit wanna see them. So if you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hell, even force your friends and family to subscribe. Don't give them a choice, just tell them they need to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. We're done. That's it. You can go. You wanna just stay here? Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. That's it, look, she's content.